something's got to give tonight for either team, and we'll find out right away here. Louisville in the home whites going left to right on your screen. SIUE in the road reds with a little pizzazz on the side there going right to left on your screen, and Louisville scores right away. It's really emphasized is ratcheting up the intensity and finishing games. Louisville has played well enough to win a lot of the games that they've lost this year, only to see things fade down the stretch. The cards aggressive out of the gate tonight, and Carr splashed down from three. As SIUE feeling much better about its program here, but they're going to need to get things going once league play gets underway as Cochran goes all the way to the basket for a lay-in, and Quigley Smith calls a quick timeout. Research back here in Louisville where the Cardinals are off to a roaring start. SIU's first four possessions for SIUE. That is a big collision as Haley Van Lith gets a rare block underneath. That is Haley's second block of the season. Pick sixth in the Ohio Valley Conference. Three ball from the corner is the first bucket of the game for the Cougs, and it's Molly Sheehan. Carr. All the way to the rim, Jones, the easy lay-in. Van Lith, just off, but picked up by Cochran underneath. And that was a great offensive rebound put back for her. And there's a steal out front by Jones, and what a start this is for her. First quarter in just seven minutes of action. Nice backdoor cut there. Nice backdoor and nice pass by the freshman Nyla Harris, who does not play like a freshman. Just off there from Sylvie. And they're trying to get out in transition. Van Lith with a nice find to Harris underneath. Beautiful pass by Van Lith. And As Williams couldn't get that to fall, still on the glass. Outside the car, good ball movement to the corner. And it's a splash down for Louisville. It's Marissa Russell. A ton of easy buckets. They are certainly leaving no doubt here. Up 24 just in the first quarter. Good shot there from Sheehan. Gets it back to a 21-point game. Sheehan's got six of her team's eight points. Williams flips it up and in. No good. Carr with the rebound. Final 10 seconds of this first quarter. Van Lith pull up jumper. Got it. Good finish by Haley Van Lith. And wait another, wait another time on the clock. Through the first 10 minutes, they were two points shy of their season high in a quarter. They set that at 35 against Longwood. One of their five wins this season is Harris with a tough take to the basket, play against a very high level of athleticism and competition. Definitely, and it doesn't make it any easier for SIUE for Louisville to be coming off of a loss, a big loss <laughs> by MTSU. Second quarter, Van Lith, the ball knocked away. Carr for three, got it. Chrislin Carr. 78 and 23. After a loss, they are 10 and 1 in the last 11 games after a loss. Van Lith with the bucket there, the most fun experience for these young Cardinals. Let's just say I am glad I was not on the team <laughs> after those two losses. But yeah, you know, Jeff Walls and his staff is really just trying to get this team to match Crystal and Carr with another three. Program on the women's side and have not been the best of late. And Williams punishes inside for a bucket. Part of yet another impressive signing class that Louisville just churns out every year is Lix Dixon from the elbow, a nice smooth jumper. This is Anna Blank, the freshman in-state product. A three ball from Moore is good. Some open threes and get something going, which they haven't been able to, but very nice shot right there. First points in seven and a half minutes for SIUE as Walker gets on the board. Jones back on the floor. Down to seven on the shot clock. Cochran, what a tough finish. And Cochran's been really working on her ball handling skills. Offensive glass. 
And a nice give back from Dixon to find Walker. And that was excellent two-player stuff from the cards. This is Jones. Russell from the corner got it. And Marissa Russell feeling herself on the three-point line tonight. And there's another steal by Jones. All the way to the rim herself. 13 points and six steals. Cochran came up with it. But that would be one of those stats that the assistants are charting and they'll be happy with the effort as Cochran gets the roll in the lane. Revealing his last album, a great story of musician, great musician, and a great friendship with David Letterman as the basketball game has continued here. SIUE here inside the Yum Center. SIUE and its Road Reds, Louisville and the Home Whites. Haley Van Lith isn't going to score many easier than that. I feel guilty that I don't. But that's your Tuesday trivia, courtesy of our producer Morgan Brooks. Liz Dixon gets. And the court still getting after on defense here in the third quarter. And one for Madison Webb. Much more efficient scoring in the second half. Close results. Carr. And this nice move jumper. Got it. Up court, long pass where they throw it out of bounds. But, you know, in the MTSU game, Louisville threw those passes a few times and turned the ball over, and it led to a loss that's for them. So that's one thing in the third quarter they cannot get undisciplined. Pearl there from Jones to set up Cochran. How well they're sharing the basketball ball and how unselfishly they are being. Car ahead to Cochran, the easy lay-in. And Louisville just scoring in droves tonight. And way to run the floor by Cochran. Car again. Thought she had Van Lith for a second pull-up jumper. And it rolls in. Chris Lynn Carr with 11. His non-conference and beginning of the season schedule is so difficult to get these players ready for the ACC time. Because when you get to ACC play, anything can happen. Everybody is good. And you can't go out there and not play good and get a win. Together with Chris Lynn Carr, Ben Liff, and just keep them playing as a group. Definitely, he is trying to build some chemistry right now with Chris and Carr, another knockdown three. And Haley Van Lith now one point away from her thousand career point with those two free throws. Good work there between the bigs, Harris and Williams. Set opportunities. And there it is, perfect pass, perfect finish. All to perfection. Close to the basket on easy. Easy, easier shots than the three-point shot is a very good stat line tonight for the cards. And there she is, Haley Van Grand. Um, and some players who just need to get a little bit better to get a little bit more playing time. And a runner there spinning out. The Tata has had a tough night tonight. Four fouls, that's a risky maneuver there to try to draw the charge on a cut. As Harris comes up with the loose ball on the other end for a layup. That's a leading scorer for SIUE. Gets on the board here in the fourth quarter. Trying to guard the cards, making some good decisions. Hit a couple open shots. Let's see if she can get this one to fall. Good timing go. on that one. The jumper. Stead, nice little two-player game. Van Lith on the cut. Turning and finishing. There's Sylvie on the drive. Nice move to get some free room. And got the layup to fall. Sylvie with four points here in this fourth quarter. In most games, and not every game, they're always trying to learn things. We talked about SIU and for Louisville. It's nice for the younger players getting the chance to play here. The three ball from Josie Williams. The ball might not be going in the basket right now, but they're still playing hard. Walker, 
All the way to the rim and got it to fall. You never know when you're going to get your moment. So rather you're player one or 15 for the cards, you always have to stay ready. Feed in there from Walker to the quick post up. And that is where things will end up. Louisville 105, SIUE 32. From the Yum Center, the cards in control from the first tip.